Hello everyone, welcome to LRA Prep. My name is Meep Sardana, a plus educator on Unacademy and this is your daily DALR dose for CAT. A very beautiful puzzle that we are going to discuss in this particular video known as jar with contaminated pills. You have five jars of pill, each pill weighs 10 gram, except for the contaminated pills contained in one jar where each pill, where each pill weighs nine grams, right? So the important point that you need to over here is the jar with the contaminated pill, jar with the contaminated pill contain, jar with the contaminated pill contain the pills with a weight of nine grams. Given a scale, what would be the minimum number of measurement required to tell which jar had the contaminated pills? And there's a not given, you can take as many pills as you want from a jar. So, you have been given a scale, you can take as many measurement as you want to do, and you're supposed to tell which particulars are will be the contaminated pills and the number of pills that you want to take from is R to do the measurement depends on you. You can take as many pills as you want. So we are supposed to find out minimum number of measurement required. That's the question. A very beautiful concept. See, important point here is each pill the normal pill, the non-contaminated pill weighs 10 gram and the contaminated pill weighs 9 gram. And we have five ZAR, right? ZAR number one, ZAR number two, ZAR number three, ZAR number four, and ZAR number five, right? Okay. So if I say that from ZAR number one, right, this is ZAR number one, ZAR number two, three, four, and five. If I take one pill from ZAR number one, and two pill from ZAR number two, three pill from ZAR number three, and four pill from ZAR number four, and five pill from ZAR number five. Now, the total number of pills that I'll be taking would be 10. I'm taking one pill from ZAR number one, two from ZAR number two, three from three, four from four, five from five. So total number of pills that I'm taking is one plus two plus three plus four plus five, that is 10 pills. Now, if I measure them once only, right? If I measure them once only, if all of them are non-contaminated pills, if all of them are, sorry, this the total number of pills are not 10, one plus two plus three, six plus four, 10 plus five, 15, right? If all of the pills are non-contaminated pills, the weight of the total weight of the total pills should be equal to 150 gram, right? The weight of all the pills should be 150 gram. But we know that one of the czar is definitely containing the contaminated pill. Now, if if czar number one contain the contaminated pill, then the weight you see should be weight you see should be 150 minus one, that is 149. So if the weight is coming out to be 149 gram, I can clearly see the one gram less is because of one contaminated pill. And because from the jar number one, I'm taking only one contaminated pill. I can say that I'm taking one pill. I can say that the contaminated bill that is coming is from jar number one. If 150 gram is a maximum number of weight, if all the pills are non-contaminated, but we know that one of the pill is definitely contaminated. At least one of the pill is definitely contaminated. If the if two pills are contaminated, then the weight would be 148 grams. So if on the first measurement, if I get to know the total weight is for 148 gram, I can see that that means two grams, two pills are contaminated, two pills are taken from jar number two. So I can say that jar number two contain jar number two contain contaminated pill. If the weight is coming out to be 447, 147 gram, that means three pills are contaminated. And because I'm taking three pills from jar number three, I can say that jar number three containing the contaminated pill. If the weight is coming out to be 146 gram, that is four gram less than 150, that means four pills are four pills are contaminated. And because I'm taking four pills from jar number four, I can say that jar number four is contaminated. If five pills are contaminated, then the weight would be 145 gram. That, and because I'm taking five fields from star number five, I can say that star number five will be containing contaminated pill. So the minimum number of measurement that are required to tell which czar had the contaminated pill is only one. Because once I measure all these 10 pills, all these 15 pills, right? 
by looking at the weight of these 15 pills, I can tell which particular sari is containing contaminated pill. Contaminated pill because if with the weight of 149 gram, I can see sari number one contain contaminated pill. If the measurement shows me the weight of 148 gram, I can say sari number two contain contaminated pill. If the measurement says the total weight is 147, I will say that jar number three contain contaminated bill. If the total weight is 146, I will say four. Jar number four contain contaminated bill. If the total weight is 145 gram, I will say jar number five will contain contaminated bill. So the minimum number of measurement that are required will only be one. That is the correct answer to the question. A beautiful concept. So guys, daily DIRR dose for CAT is a series that I have started for students who are paying for CAT 2021, where in this series, I'll be discussing one beautiful concept of DNLR uh, on daily basis. The video will be uploaded on LRD prep. You can attend my live sessions on Unacademy using my left roll code LRD SME Live on Plus. I'm also running a series on 30 minutes daily DLR practices summit. In 30 minutes daily DLR practices meet every day at 4 p.m. Uh, a special class will be taken on an academy. It's a completely free special class where one very beautiful set will be discussed with students preparing for CAT 2021, a relevant set for CAT exam, exactly on the level of difficulty on the previous year CAT paper. This series will go on till CAT. 18 episodes have been conducted. 19th episode link is given in the description part of the video. You can have a look at it. Also, the link of all the 18 episodes that I have already taken are also given in the description part. So please subscribe to this series. This will help you a lot in your DI and LR preparation. It's a completely free series. And to attend my plus courses for theory of quant and logical reasoning and data interpretation, you can join an academy plus using my referral code LRDS Meet Live. In addition to that, let's practice quant with me, Sudhana is a test series which will be conducted on 27th March 2021 at 4 p.m. to 4.45 p.m. 4.40 p.m. This will be a 40-minute test where I'll be asking you the questions from all the topics of quantitative aptitude. Check where do you stand when it comes to quantitative aptitude? At what level of difficulty you can solve the question? You'll also be getting a real-time ranking of your test uh, based on the performance of your test. And detailed analysis from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. will also be given where every question solution will be discussed. And the most important part is the top five people will win Amazon vouchers for rupees thousand. If you can secure the rank, rank among top five people, you'll be given a thousand rupees Amazon voucher. Thank you so much for watching the video. See you in the next part. Thanks a lot.